Hi! Today we will talk about the WP Webhooks plugin. If you are interested in it, continue watching this video. Let's start! Well, before passing to the WP Webhooks plugin, let's first understand the concept of Webhook itself. A Webhook makes up a bridge between two apps and delivers data from one application to another by implementing a Webhook URL format. Basically, they allow various apps or tools to speak to one another and get notified when something new happens. So, the WP Webhooks plugin enables you to connect external services to your WordPress website, and this plugin also makes it possible to develop dynamic and code-free WordPress automation. With WP Webhooks plugin, you can easily put your WordPress site on autopilot to automate manual and repetitive tasks. So, the main goal of WP Webhooks plugin is WordPress automation. Okay, now we are going to create a WooCommerce product using Contact Form 7. And it's important to mention that Contact Form 7 plugin is a simple form plugin that is used in combination with WP Webhooks plugin not only to send emails but also to do other neat things like creating WooCommerce product as we already mentioned. And now we will understand how we can do it. And it's also important to mention that we are going to review a pro version of the WP Webhooks plugin. Okay, here we have the contact form and we can check it out here. We should click contact and then we will see the contact form that has been created. Here we have the product name, the product price, the product image and also the description. Like this is the whole that you see in the contact form. Okay, we should start by filling in the form and first we should write the product name. I will write notebooks. Then we should set the price. After that, we should choose the image that will serve as a thumbnail. Okay, and then we should write the product description. Okay, and then we should click create product. Okay, once the form is sent, we can see it in the product section. As you see, it has the image, the name and the price that you have set. And all of this works through WP Webhooks plugin, the pro version of the plugin. Okay, now we will select like, the whole automation process and first we should click automation and flows. And then we should open the specific flow with the edit icon. And as you see here, we have the contact form. If we click on it, we can see that first we have the contact form one. It's the form on the basis of which our product contact form was created. We just want to fire the trigger once the form is submitted. Then we don't want to send emails. And as you see, you have other configurations and we also have 180, which means that the attachments of the form will be saved for three minutes, otherwise they will be deleted. Then you have other configurations and you can click continue. And here you see the data that came through. Okay. Then we can click finish the trigger. Okay, once you have clicked finish trigger, we are going to create a WordPress post. Okay, let's see. In the first line, we can see that I have chosen to create posts. You can also choose create path attachment, create taxonomy term, create URL attachment, etc. We should click continue and go to action settings. Here you see the ID. Then you have other configurations, you see the post title that you can choose or just write. Then you have the post status which is published but it also can be draft. Then we have the post type which is product and we have taken it from URL. And you also have other configurations. And then we come to the price, we should pay strong attention to price as uh, we add it by filling in the meta text and WooCommerce has its own meta text on certain values and in our case it's the price. Okay, then we can click continue. Okay, when we click continue, uh, we will be able to test if we can actually fire the webhooks action. 
and we should click fire action and here we can see that the post has been successfully created okay we see the data and after this we can click finish the action okay we saw everything except the image and uh, to add it to the product we only have the image URL so all we can do is to add it to the media and connect it to uh, the post that has been created well to do it we have added another action which is called create URL attachment as you see we have chosen that action and within action settings you can see the URL then you have some other configurations and also the thumbnail which is like the post ID okay and if you click continue you can actually create the file and what just happened it created the media attachment and attached it to the product now we can go to media and see the image and also we can go to product and see that we have uh, the image uh, the title the price etc and all this happened because the flow was active and this is a very important part you should pay strong attention to this you can see it here it's active so in this video we discussed the WP Webhooks plugin and we learned how to create a WooCommerce product using Contact Form 7. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to watch more videos. Thank you for attention.